We're Rocco Masters! Woo! Can you move your arm over there? Yeah, like that. Okay. okay. The icebreakers allowed us to work together with, in challenges that we aren't normally faced with, and we got to each show our own skills and uh, show our unique approaches to each problem that we were faced with. It's really interesting to see other people's projects. Um, I've looked at a few. We've been sharing each other's ideas, and then it's, it's really interesting to, to talk with other people about their projects, too. Now, have you tried it, actually, to like when you've run and I you get those breaths? I have not tried with asthma. I have tried just breathing normally. Right. The judges really ask questions that challenge your comprehension. They really take you to new levels, ask how you can apply your project in the real world. And it's uh, really humbling to see such great scientists come and talk to us and actually show good interest in the projects that we have that could potentially change the world. That's really smart! Wow! There's a density as another factor. Right. As soon as they break down the oil, but it, they yeah. kind of... It was really exciting to talk to the public. I was really surprised with the amount of people who came in and uh, wanted to talk to us and they really motivated us further with our project and uh, they said like it's definitely, uh, they were all very surprised at the level of work that we've been working on. Applied science, technology, and engineering for rising stars. Congratulations, Broadcom Masters! It can't be the femur because the femur has two of the Yeah, sciences. that's what I was saying. In science, you normally don't work alone. You normally work with other people together in a team. It's also one of the 21st century thinking skills. Go. Nice. We all had a bunch of different ideas, and like by the time we actually figured out what we were doing, it was pretty easy, but it took forever. SSP is known for its world-class science competitions, and Broadcom Masters is the premier science competition for middle school students in the United States. For us, we have a great responsibility to bring them in a room, to showcase them, to have them compete, and to also make sure that they're rewarded for their hard work. And that's really, really important because that keeps giving them the inspiration to keep going. We are the masters! Woo! All of the career paths I saw were so interesting. I could envision myself in virtually all of them. They are all doing so, such great work in the fields of engineering and science. Uh, everything from cell phones to internet companies to journalists and I thought all of them, their careers had things that I would definitely like to experience in my life. 69 inches. Are you sure? The Broadcom Masters gives kids a chance to hone the 21st century skills of critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity ultimately giving them the confidence to continue with STEM subjects throughout high school and college in order to find opportunities and careers that await them if they stay with STEM subjects. Are you back to your original code now? Copy and paste the exact line. Call the function and say, I know what this is going to do instantly, right? So we're basically just inserting another random location of the apple. So the grid changes color every new game. There's a bomb apple that moves around. As a company, Broadcom depends on engineering talent to do the things we do. We need smart kids, so that's why we support this. Uh, we believe it's very important, also for our country. And I think you may have heard this from the president. We need kids like you for this country, not just to solve problems of the country, but to solve problems of the world. Fourteen class of Broadcom Masters, you guys are amazing. Congratulations, you've done a fantastic job. Your projects are just phenomenal. Uh, so I wish you all the best, all the success in your future careers, and I look forward to seeing you again at some other high school or college competition. Congratulations and best of luck to all of you. 
I think that this is a perfect idea that Carlton has is actually reaching out to middle school students because I feel like a lot of middle school students, I don't, like, they feel like it's a, almost a negative thing to get into science and math engineering, but with a competition like this, you actually feel like you're a part of something and it's something good and it feels good. So it's a great job that Broadcom did with actually reaching out to these people. Thank you so much to Broadcom and Society for Science and the Public. And it was just an amazing experience for all young scientists. It's just such a great opportunity and I was just so honored that I could just come to this and let alone like win the Stanley Foundation Award.